Ethical Decision Making, Chapter 5, Management 1125 by Constance Barkhouse. In this chapter, we are going to summarize our current knowledge of ethical decision making in business and provides a model so that you may better visualize the ethical decision making process. Ethical Issue Intensity. What is ethical issue intensity? It can be defined as a as a relevance of importance of an event or decision in the eyes of the individual, work group, and or organization. The first step in ethical decision making is to recognize that an ethical issue exists requiring an individual or work group to choose among several actions that various stakeholders will ultimately evaluate as wrong or right. What is ethical awareness? It is the ability to perceive whether a situation or decision has an ethical dimension. What is moral intensity? It relates to the individual's perception of social pressure and the harm they believe their decision will have on others. Framework for understanding ethical decision making in businesses. The figure shown illustrates the factors that determine why different individuals perceive ethical issues differently. First, we're going to talk about individual factors. When people need to resolve issues in their daily lives, they often base their decisions on their own values and principles of wrong or right. Research regarding individuals' factors that affect ethical awareness, judgment, intent, and behavior include the following. Gender, age, education, nationality, locus of control, external control, and internal control. Next, we're going to talk about organizational factors. Research has established that in a workplace, an organization's values often have greater influence on decisions than a person's own values. Corporate control. What is corporate control? It can be defined as a set of values, norms, and artifacts, including ways of solving problems that members of an organization share. What is ethical culture? Ethical culture reflects that integrity of decisions made and is a function of many factors, including corporate policies, top management's leadership on ethical issues, the influence of coworkers, and the opportunity for unethical behavior. Obedience to authority. What is considered obedience to authority? Obedience to authority helps explain why many employees resolve business ethics issues by simply following the directives of the superior. What is a significant other? A significant other are those who have influence in a work group, including peers, managers, co-workers, and subordinates. Something we all know too well, opportunity. What is opportunity? Opportunity describes the conditions in an organization that limit or permit ethical or unethical behavior. Immediate job context. Immediate job context is an opportunity that relates to individuals' immediate job context, where they work, whom they work with, and the nature of the work. Business ethics, intentions, behaviors, and evaluations. Individuals' intentions and the final decision regarding what action they take are the last steps in the, in the ethical decision-making process. How do you define success? The road to success depends on how the business person defines success. The the success concept drives intentions and behaviors in business either implicitly or explicitly. Using ethical decision-making model to improve ethical decisions. The model is intended to provide you with insights and knowledge about typical ethical decision-making processes in business organizations. Using this will help you gain an understanding of factors that make up ethical decision making. And the type of industry, the competition, and stakeholders are all factors that can push some employees into making unethical decisions. Normative considerations in ethical decision making. Normative is equivalent to an ideal standard. A normative approach to business ethics examines what ought to occur in business ethical decision making. When we discuss normative approaches, we are talking about how organizational decision makers should approach the issue. Institutions as the foundation of normative values. Government, religion, and education are institutions that influence the creation of values, norms, and conventions that both organizations and individuals should adhere. Have you considered how political institutions influence the development of values? Political influences can also take place within the organization. Competition is also important to to economic institutions and ethical decision making. The nature of competition can be shaped by the economic system 
as it helps determine how a particular county or society distributes its resources in the production of products. Social institutions impact a firm's normative values as well. They include religion, education, and individuals such as the family unit. Implementing principles and core values in ethical decision making. John Rawls was one of the most influential philosophers in his research on how principles support the concept of justice. Rawls believed justice principles were beliefs that everyone could accept. In his experiment, Rawls used what he called the veil of ignorance, a thought experiment that examined how individuals would formulate principles if they did not know what their future position in society would be. Understanding ethical decision making. Our organizational ethical decision making framework demonstrates the many factors that influence ethical decisions. Normative dimensions are also important to ethical decision making. Normative perspectives set forth ideal goals to which organizations should aspire. Normative considerations are also provide a foundation needed to develop organizational principles and values, the building blocks of a firm's ethical culture. Normative framework are largely influenced by political, economical, and social institutions. Lastly, normative perspectives are also recognizes the existence of universal ethical behaviors such as honesty and justice. The more you know about ethical decision-making in businesses, the more likely you will make good decisions.